You ever just space out, staring at a lava lamp? They're mesmerizing, right? It's like watching two liquids slug it out in slow motion, but they never actually touch. Turns out, there's a whole lot of science going on inside that groovy little lamp. Today we're going behind the scenes to see how these things are made. Get ready to get your hands dirty, because we're about to break down the magic of the lava lamp. First things first, we gotta gather our ingredients. This is the foundation of our project, and having everything laid out in front of you will make the process smoother and more enjoyable. Think of it like preparing for a big cooking session. You want all your spices and ingredients within arm's reach. It's not rocket science, but it's also not something you'd find in your pantry. We need some specialized items that you might not have lying around the house. So, let's dive into what exactly we need. Here's what we're working with. A collection of parts that will come together to create something magical. Glass bottle. This is the main stage where the show happens. The glass bottle is crucial because it will house all the other components. It needs to be clear so we can see the mesmerizing dance of the wax and water inside. It can be all kinds of shapes and sizes, but it's gotta be heat resistant. This is important because the heat will cause the wax to melt and move, creating that iconic lava lamp effect. Wax. This is our star performer. The wax is what will create the beautiful flowing shapes inside the lamp. It's specially formulated to have just the right density and melting point. This ensures that it will float and sink in the water, creating that mesmerizing effect we all love. Water, the other half of our dancing duo. The water is essential for the wax to float in and move around. We'll need this for the wax to float in. The interaction between the wax and water is what creates the dynamic movement inside the lamp. Mineral oil. This helps the wax move around smoothly. The mineral oil acts as a lubricant, ensuring that the wax doesn't stick to the sides of the bottle and moves freely. Think of it like a lubricant. It reduces friction and allows the wax to glide effortlessly through the water. Dye! This is where the real personality comes in. The dye adds color to the wax, making the lamp visually striking. We can use all sorts of colors to create different vibes. Whether you want a calming blue or an energetic red, the choice is yours. Heating element. This little guy provides the heat that makes the whole thing go. The heating element is what causes the wax to melt and rise, creating the lava lamp effect. Base. This holds everything together and usually houses the light bulb. The base is the foundation of the lamp, providing stability and housing the heating element. It's the unsung hero that makes the magic happen. Now comes the fun part. Mixing our lava. First, we melt the wax down in a big old vat. It's gotta be nice and smooth, like melted chocolate. Then we add our water and mineral oil in just the right proportions. Too much of one or the other, and the lava won't flow right. Finally, we stir in the dye until we get that perfect, vibrant hue. Building the lamp. With our lava concoction ready, it's time to assemble the lamp. The process begins with the careful preparation of the glass bottles. Each bottle is meticulously cleaned and inspected to ensure there are no imperfections that could affect the final product. We carefully pour the hot liquid into the glass bottle, making sure not to spill a drop. This step requires a steady hand and a keen eye to ensure the right amount of liquid is used. Then, we attach the heating element to the bottom of the bottle and wire it to the base. This element is crucial as it heats the liquid, causing the mesmerizing lava effect. The base also gets a light bulb to illuminate the lava from below. The light not only enhances the visual appeal, but also helps in the heating process. Finally, we seal everything up tight, ensuring no leaks. Each lamp undergoes a quality check to make sure it meets our high standards. And with that, our lava lamp is ready for action, bringing a touch of magic to any room. The science of the swirl. So, how does this thing actually work? The answer lies in the fascinating interplay of physics and chemistry. It's all about density and heat, these two factors are the key players in the mesmerizing dance of the wax blobs. When the lamp is off, the wax is a solid blob at the bottom. It sits there, dense and immobile, waiting for the magic to begin. But when we flip the switch, the heating element warms up the wax. This is where the transformation starts. As the wax heats up, it expands and becomes less dense than the surrounding liquid. This change in density is crucial. This causes the wax to rise to the top of the lamp, the once solid blob now floats gracefully upwards. Once it cools down a bit, it becomes denser again and sinks back to the bottom. 
this cooling and sinking is just as important as the rising. The cycle repeats, creating those mesmerizing blobs of color that dance and morph right before our eyes. It's a continuous loop of heating, rising, cooling, and sinking, all driven by the simple principles of heat and density. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content, updates, and new uploads from Manufacture straight to your feed.